at the 2018 North American International Auto Show and we're checking out the all new BMW X2. As you can see, it's the latest addition to BMW's lineup and it's all new for 2018. On this model, we have beautiful 20 inch wheels and typically would have seen what is in grey over here, usually in black and other BMW models, but has this beautiful grey paint finish that's unique, uh, although reminiscent of other BMW X series products. So, as we get inside, we see this beautiful interior and here we have you know BMW instrument cluster I drive system over here and screen, the touch screen right now is not active because the car is not on here's a start stop Cup holders in here. Parking brake. The mode selector, Eco Pro, Sport, traction control. The buttons have a nice solid feel to them as they would in other BMW products. And over here we have, I believe that is, I can't tell if that's a digital screen or if it's analog because it is off, but you do see the analog gauge. Uh, it's hard to tell. Um, but there should be some digital element, probably in the middle or somewhere. Carbon card and speakers on this model. Power window switches. Oh, the screen's on, so we can check this out. As you can see, this is the iDrive system on this model. Connect to drive my vehicle to give you vehicle specs. Uh, based on the previous drive, I believe it gets around 21.4 miles per gallon. Let's see if we can get some more stats based on a previous drive. I don't see any of the settings active just because the car is off like I mentioned. Uh, so we can't go and see any other specs or stat statistics unless the engine's on. Let's check out the navigation. We're indoors so we're not really going to see a navigation. Let's go to the map. And as you can see, we're in Detroit right now so... It's very cool. So the blue at the bottom is obviously the, Detroit, uh, the river. And as I zoom out... Very cool. I'm trying to get the 360 degree camera to activate, but I can't. I'm not sure if that's a 360 degree camera, to be honest, or it has or some sort of sort of sensor uh, that turns the, sensor, uh, turns the sensors on for around the car. I will find that out eventually. <laughs> But let's go back. So this is for phone communications, etc., media, radio. Uh, as we look at the steering wheel, we have these buttons here: call, a volume, and mode selector, cruise control over here. And let's go check out the trunk. This one is an automatic, as you can see, with paddle shifters. As we get to the back, you'll notice that it's not exactly the tallest, but it could go pretty deep. Uh, the opening is a bit narrow compared to the actual height of the interior. We have this cool BMW badge over here that we've never seen on any recent BMW model. Uh, you have these taillights here, they look nice. I'll Close the trunk in a bit just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Over here we have a power socket and 
nice little pockets over here to store away a bottle of coolant or windshield fluid. Oh, it actually opens up to reveal more storage. So as you can see, I just opened this and you get a lot more space. I'm not sure if that comes off. It should, um, but it's hard to tell right now. But otherwise, this is a very solid deck for loading uh, cargo. You should be able to place stuff without it falling through. Or you could separate the stuff, as I mentioned, with this uh, lid. Uh, put maybe your groceries on top and some more solid things at the bottom. Two chrome tailpipes at the bottom. And as I close... As I close, you can see the profile that we have back here. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Stefan, alle raus. Next two. Very cool looking, as you can see. It looks slightly smaller than the X1. As we get to the front, you notice new headlights. New grill. Panoramic sunroof. We're at the North American International Auto Show checking out the all-new BMW X2.